Hi everyone, welcome to this lesson 4 of our Funk Fundamentals course. Today we are going to learn how to play ghost notes, so this chaka chaka sound between the chords, very common in funk music. And we'll be learning this song to practice it, which sounds like this. Alright guys, so my name is Simone from Your Guitar Academy. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, to check out all the other guitar lessons that we have available here on YouTube. And now we are ready to jump into the lesson and learn how to play this 16th ghost note. So basically, when we play 16th ghost notes, we are keep moving our picking hand all the time as we normally do when we count in 16th notes uh, in funk music. But this time, rather than just moving our picking hand, we are also hitting the strings all the time, so it's a percussive hit of the strings without having any pitch played, so we are not actually playing any chord, we are just creating this percussive sound, this chaka chaka sound that I'm sure you heard already many times in funk songs. So in order to play that, what you want to do, you want to practice a left hand muting uh, when you play chords. So for example, if I'm playing an A chord here, an A triad, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the chord and then I'm going to release the pressure from the from the chord, lifting my fingers but keeping the same shape on the chord. So my left hand is still playing the same chord shape but I'm just not pressing as much as I was pressing before uh, in order to make an, a sound out of this chord like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play one downstroke now and then gradually I'm going to remove the pressure from the fingers and in this way you can hear that the sound is going to stop. Now when the sound stops you can actually play the ghost note so you can keep hitting the strings and in this way you're not going to get any pitch out of the chord but you're just going to get the percussive hit that we said before, this kind of sound. Now in order to practice this in the song I was playing a few chords, I was playing a G chord in this way played as a triad, uh, you'll find more about this triad in the lesson 3 if you haven't watched it yet and uh, the G chord that I was playing was ring finger on the 9th fret of the D string, first finger on the 7th fret of the G and second finger on the 8th fret B string, like this. From here I was moving to a D played with a mini bar on the 7th fret of the D, G and B strings then I was moving to an A played with the 7th fret, ring finger on the 7th fret of the D string, 2nd finger 6th fret of the G string and 1st finger on the 5th fret of the B string and then back to the same D that I played before. Now the chords happen to be on the downbeat number 2, so 1 E and a 2 and on the uh, down, up, down, up in the 4th beat, so it's going to be 4 sixteenths in the 4th beat like I don't play anything on the first beat, I don't play anything on the third, but now while I keep moving my right hand, all the movements that I do without hitting the chords, I'm going to play a ghost note. So the first beat for example, rather than just counting one E and A, I'm going to do the same hitting these ghost notes like one E and A. So all together the first two beats are going to be one E and A, two E and A. As soon as I stop my downstroke on the G, I'm playing again three more ghost notes on the second, third and fourth sixteenths of the second beat, so they're going to be up, down, up. So the first two beats together, again, they're going to be one E and A, two E and A. Then I'm going to do the same in the second half of the bar, where the beat three is just four ghost notes and the beat four is four proper strokes on the D chord, 4, E, N, up. 
So if I put together my first bar nice and slowly, it's going to be 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a. The same rhythm is going to be in the second bar using the chords A and D again. So if I play two bars now, so the first part of my groove, this is going to be 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a and so on, you repeat that for 8 bars. In the second part of my groove, I was playing exactly the same rhythm with the same amount of ghost notes over one chord only, which is the E9. The E9 is played with the root note on the 7th fret of the A string, like this. Alright, so uh, one bar of E9 with the same groove is going to be 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a so as you can see, when I want to get the 16th note, uh, ghost note, I'm going to basically release the pressure from my fretting hand, but I'm keep moving my picking hand exactly as I was doing before without playing any ghost notes. Now I'm just going to hit the strings rather than doing empty movements with my picking hand. So you apply this to 8 bars in the first part of the song and 8 bars in the second part of the song and the whole groove, nice and slowly, sounds like this. again. Change. Second bar. Another four bars. And so on. So my advice as usual is to start a little bit slower than this and then gradually increase the tempo. Don't forget that you can click in the link in the description below and you will head up to our website where you can find a full write-up of this lesson including a backing track for your practice and a moving tab where you'll see myself playing next to a tab and that you can also slow down so you can start actually much slower than this and then increase the tempo while you progress with your practice. Alright, I hope that this lesson helps you guys. If you have any questions, as usual, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the other videos that we upload here on YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next videos.